When people arrive at Jarpoint Glass Studio, they're generally greeted by the dogs at the front door. They can come into the studio and watch us make, say, a bowl or a jug, where they'll see us gathering the hot glass from the furnace, and shaping it and heating it and cooling it strategically to get different shapes from it. My dad learned how to make glass in Sweden and he moved to Ireland in the late 70s and met my mum and they settled down here and started making glass. So we're here 40 years now and almost everybody that works for us is related to the family. It's great for us when people come to the studio because they can uh, get an appreciation for how much work goes into each piece that we make. They'll see us gathering the raw molten glass and they'll see us finish it entirely by hand on the day. You know, people will show up and they'll say, oh, this place is on my doorstep and I've never been here. The way we make glass, it's as old a method of making glass as there is still left in the world today. We make it the way it's been made for hundreds of years, completely hand finished. Every piece is a snowflake, you'll never find two glasses that are exactly the same. A lot of customers will ask me where should we go and visit when they come to see the glass blowing and I always tell them one great place to visit would be Brandon Hill. It's Kilkenny's tallest mountain. It's a great spot, it's uh, great for walking, great for hiking. My favourite part of County Kilkenny is Jarpoint Abbey down the road. You know, it's a thousands of years old abbey and it's, um, it's one of the few places that you can kind of go in and have a look around. You know, there's lots of little hidden carvings and that in and around it. Malzard's pub down in Stonyford. They get a lot of tours down there and they bring people in and they play music for them and they'll teach them how to pull a pint and they bring them out the back and show them how to play hurling. Hurling is our national sport in Ireland and it's also our, um, the only sport we're any good at in Kilkenny. Another great spot to visit would be Castlecomber Discovery Park where there's you know 10 or 20 kilometres of walking trails, there's zip line and there's treetop walks and there's also a little craft yard there as well. When visitors come to Kilkenny, I think they're always impressed by the sheer density of creative people. I think because the design yard was originally set up in Kilkenny back in the 70s, I think a lot of creative people kind of flocked to Kilkenny and because of that, we're now synonymous with craft foods, craft beer, there's craft makers like ourselves, there's galleries, there's lots of places to visit and uh, I think when people come to Ireland's Ancient East that's what they're looking for.